So here you go guys on YouTube, here's a video of uh, Ian today who's come down for his first ever golf lesson with myself down here at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester. Uh, actual recommendation from YouTube, he's been watching my videos and he's come down uh, for a lesson today to fix his driver because it's been a bit of an issue. So I've posted this video to show you the improvements that we made and also guys hopefully you can learn a little bit from it as well and if not you can also do what Ian's done and come and book a lesson with myself down here at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester. Right, so we've got here on screen Ian's first um, driver swing on the left side. Now Ian's issues were three golf shots that he was hitting. He was either hitting a straight push, which was obviously missing fairways. By the way, Ian's a five handicapper, so he's a pretty handy golfer, wants to get down to single figures, oh sorry, single, he's already off single figures, but he wants to get lower into kind of category one. Um, but he had three issue shots. His first one was a big push, so he, he could push it way offline quite easily. He could also duck hook it, or when he gets it right, he draws it but too inconsistently, far too inconsistently. Now, Ian's thought that he was getting his chest and his body too far to the left, so felt like he was almost coming on top of it and then swinging the ball to the left and making the ball go left, but it was actually quite the opposite of what Ian was doing. If we look at a couple of fa features in his setup, his stance is very close, so aiming massively off to the right. His shoulders are also very, very closed. Um, so that would cause him to hit mainly would hit getting to hit the golf ball too much from the inside so if we look at the swing here and what happens and Ian's got quite a big swing but doesn't really matter not got an issue with that but his downswing would really come in from behind him it's actually just gone off screen now he's paired back up again so the club head here is way behind him and this club now is going to approach the ball too much from the inside so we kind of talked about if you were a football player or if you're watching an America soccer player and if you were stood to the left side of the ball here and ran towards it, the ball would generally have a curvature on the golf ball that would move right to left in the air. And that's exactly what Ian was doing when he came in to hit the shot. His club head would come into the golf ball too much from the inside angle, far too much from the inside angle. And you see, if his face was even straight, he would hook it. Never mind if his face was left, he would hook it viciously. And you can see here the ball just goes off to the left and was low and was really starting to turn into that left corner. And the video has just stopped there, but it was really turning into that left corner at some, some speed as well. So definitely missing fairways. So what we've got Ian to do today is hit the ball a lot straighter. And the way we first off looked at that is addressing his setup position, so addressing his uh, feet and his shoulder alignment, so his now his feet and his shoulder alignment are much, much better. We've also got him to feel like he was swinging much more to the left, so doing quite the opposite of what he was doing originally, so feeling like he was swinging the club across his body. Um, the feeling that Ian would get would be that he would hit the ball even further to the left, but quite the, quite the opposite, because his path really improved on this downswing. You can see this, look at the club head there, I mean, that is just awesome. That is such a good club head position to approach the ball in. His club head then would come through the ball in a much straighter line, so a little bit inside, but not much. And the flight of the golf ball was just unbelievable. We almost started to fade it back into the middle of the fairway, which is a shot that Ian didn't really have in the locker. So, then we started to play about with this theory. We started to hit draws and fades on demand and for a first golf lesson with the driver considering he hooked it couldn't believe that that was something we were going to be doing today but we've got him drawing and fading it with with little effort really just changing the swing path from inside for a draw and from outside to a fade and he would really just change that the other small thing we just changed and this is more for Ian's sake than anyone else's is the left leg through the shot so let Ian's left leg would quite easily collapse as he came in to hit it so watch his left leg just here so he would almost dip down his left leg would collapse that would also cause him to get very inside because the club would come in too shallow so you can really see the bow of his left leg there so we worked on today and this was again with the driver just making sure that left leg snapped getting that left leg to snap straighter through the golf ball so his path orientation would change quite nicely and he hit some really, really great shots. So, Ian, great session today. Very good improvement. Guys, if you've enjoyed watching this on YouTube, um, please do give it a thumbs up. Comment below. I will uh, reply to every comment that you leave. And do check me out on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, Ian, can't, looking forward now to the season to start and for him to get his handicap down to the lowest he can possibly get down to this year. Great session today, Ian. I look forward to seeing you again next time. And thanks for everyone.